Evergreen Elementary, Sam Vidlack here from Oregon State University, and today I will be reading Splat in the Cool School Trip by Rob Scott. It's Penguin Day, cried Splat, as he woke from his favorite dream. Splat's class was going to the zoo, and Splat was too excited to sleep. I can't wait to see the penguins, said Splat. They have big round eyes and walk with a waddle. They're the best, he added. Seymour nodded. Splat got ready for school. Did you know penguins love to swim? asked Splat. Seymour nodded. Then Splat remembered something Mrs. Wimpy Dimple said. You can't come because mice scare the elephants, said Splat. I'm sorry, Seymour. So Splat went to school, leaving a disappointed Seymour behind. But Seymour wanted to go to the zoo, and he had a plan. At cat school, after Splat and his class boarded the bus, Mrs. Wimpy Dimple asked a question. Which animal is your favorite? The giraffe, said Plank. He's really tall. The monkey, said Kitten. She's so cute. The elephant, said Spike. He's so strong. Penguins, cried Splat. I can't wait to see the penguins. The bus rattled along the road. And soon arrived at the zoo. Let's go and see the penguins first, cried Splat. Later, Splat, Mrs. Wimpy Dimple sighed. I can't wait, said Splat. Look, a giraffe, said Plank. He reached the high branches. Look, a monkey, cried Kitten. She's so furry. Look, an elephant, said Spike. He's so strong. They're cool, sighed Splat, but they're not penguins. Splat looked up and pointed at something in the sky. Is it a bird, he asked? No, cried the cats. Is it a plane, he asked. Well, sort of, cried the cats. It's Seymour. Seymour waved, but then lost his balance and crashed into the elephant. Uh-oh, said Splat. Seymour stared at the elephant. The elephant stared at Seymour. And then, Mouse, cried the elephant. Uh-oh, said Splat. The elephant was so frightened, he trumpeted, ran away, and jumped over a wall. I guess Mrs. Wimpy Dimple was right, said Splat. Elephants are afraid of mice. The class continued around the zoo until they finally arrived at the penguin pool. Hurrah, cheered Splat, but Splat's hooray didn't last long. A sign on the wall read, Due to an elephant breaking the pool, the penguins cannot come out today. Sorry. What? No penguins, said Splat? No penguins, said Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. Everybody back to the bus. Splat was so disappointed. Seymour was, was dismayed. It was his fault that Splat couldn't see the penguins. So he thought about how he could make things right. He peeked into the penguins' house. Without any water to swim in, all the penguins were huddled inside. Seymour had an idea. Hmm, he said. Follow me. And they did. The bus rattled back to cat school with the penguins on top of the bus. Splat wandered home, played with his dinner, stared at the TV, and then went to bed. But Splat couldn't sleep. He heard a splashing noise coming from the bathroom. It got louder. Plip, plop, splash. He decided to investigate. Something was moving behind the shower curtain. He gulped. Splat pulled the shower curtain open, and to his amazement,
Penguins, he cried. All in the bathtub. It's Penguin Day after all. The end. Thanks for letting me read in your readathon, um, partnered with Literacy. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity, and go Eagles.